The Worst Foods for Thyroid Patients The thyroid is a gland found in the neck which makes important hormones including T3 and T4. These hormones control the body's metabolism, body temperature, brain development and much more. Unfortunately, many people have thyroid problems as they get older, like hypothyroidism, hyperthyroidism and cysts and nodules in the gland. In today's video, we will share a list of the worst foods for the thyroid gland to avoid. We also highlight some other factors which can lead to thyroid problems. 1. Soy If you have thyroid problems, soy is one of the worst foods that you can eat. Soy acts like estrogen in the body and causes some major hormone imbalances in both women and men. Soy protein is found hidden in pre-packaged foods, diet shakes, ready meals, vegetable oils, vegetarian meat substitutes, soy milk and even some baby milk formulas. The lectins in soy cause irritation to the gut lining and can worsen symptoms in people with leaky gut syndrome. Avoid this as much as possible as it is a genetically modified product which is grown with harmful chemicals and pesticides that interfere with the thyroid gland. 2. Diet Pills The thyroid gland makes hormones that are involved with making energy in the body from foods that you eat. When you consume diet pills and stimulants, you either slow the thyroid gland down or speed it up which causes problems with the metabolism. Some pills are designed to suppress the appetite and others to speed up the metabolism. All of these interfere with the natural flow of hormones in the thyroid and the liver. This can lead to all kinds of problems in the future like swelling in the gland, goiters and hypo or hyperthyroidism. 3. Sugary Foods Eating sugary foods on a daily basis can cause some major hormone imbalances and a higher risk of Hashimoto's thyroid disease. This is a condition where the immune system starts attacking the thyroid gland and can lead to fatigue, weight gain, muscle pain, temperature problems, thinning hair and much more. Sugar causes unfriendly bacteria and fungi to grow in the intestines which leads to inflammation in the lining of the gut. This is a major cause of all autoimmune diseases and hormone imbalances. We highly recommend cutting sugar out of the diet. Remember that this is hidden in many different soda drinks, fruit juices, donuts, cookies, sweets and even salad dressings. 4. Estrogenic Foods Many different crops are genetically modified and grown with some dangerous pesticides and fungicides. These chemicals are called endocrine disruptors which cause high estrogen levels, damage to the liver and thyroid problems like cysts and nodules. Avoid vegetable oils, soy, corn, canola, margarine, high fructose corn syrup and cornstarch as much as possible as these all raise the estrogen hormone too high. Switch out these foods for healthier alternatives like extra virgin olive oil, mashed avocado and coconut oil. You should also cut down on alcohol and soda drinks. We recommend switching to kombucha tea in the place of alcohol and herbal teas instead of soda. 3. Seed Oils Seed oils in particular can cause some major damage to the microbiome, leading to autoimmune diseases like Hashimoto's and Graves' disease. Corn, canola, cottonseed, soy, grapeseed, rice bran and rapeseed oil should be avoided for thyroid health. These contain polyunsaturated fats that get damaged when the oils are processed using hydrogenation. When you cook with these oils, they become further damaged which can cause inflammation in the glands and the thyroid when you consume them. 6. Gluten Gluten is found in many different grains and causes a great deal of inflammation in the body because it is a lectin. In some people, this can also irritate the lining of the gut and make autoimmune diseases worse like hypothyroidism. Gluten is found in bread, cereal, pasta, biscuits, crackers, pies, gravies and other refined foods. 7. Stress 
The endocrine glands are very sensitive to stress, such as emotional stress, environmental stress and physical stress. Too much stress causes high cortisol levels, which burns out the adrenal glands and can also affect the thyroid and the other glands. If you are suffering with any form of thyroid condition, you must take steps to reduce stress in your body and unlock feelings of peace so that you may begin to heal. Long, gentle walks in nature of at least 45 minutes per day helps to calm the adrenal glands and reduce cortisol. We also recommend getting at least 8 hours of sleep per night to relax the nervous system and also cutting down on caffeine. As you can see, there are many foods that can harm the thyroid gland, especially those which are highly processed and pre-packaged. To fix thyroid problems, you must restore the health of your gut and find ways to relieve stress from the body and adrenal glands. Drinking bone broth on a daily basis can help to restore gut health because it is loaded with healing collagen. Consuming foods rich in omega-3 fatty acids like sardines and wild-caught salmon can also help in fixing hormonal problems. In many thyroid cases, there can be an underlying virus causing the problem. Consuming garlic and foods rich in zinc and selenium may also help to reverse thyroid illnesses. Eating cruciferous vegetables can provide lots of nutrients to the body and help to lower inflammation. If you are concerned about this affecting your thyroid, gently steam the vegetables to make them easier to digest. Those with hyperthyroidism or overactive thyroid can help to balance their hormones by performing intermittent fasting on a daily basis. Remember, whatever the case, you must find ways to relax your body and pull out stress because stress is the most common cause of hormonal problems. In our other videos, we share tips on how to relieve stress and also explain much about balancing your hormones. To learn more, please select one of our video playlists at the end. Thank you very much for listening, a like is always appreciated and remember to subscribe and tap the bell for more healthy videos. I wish you great health, wealth and happiness.